I am Chase, I am tracked, but we lost to me, will simply find me. I am Chase, I am tracked, but we lost to me, will simply find me. I am Chase, I am tracked. Escucha las palabras de las brujas, los secretos escondidos en la noche. It took me back to Bloody Mary. I and felt like a witch in, <laughs> in the haunted bathroom at school. Happy New Year, everybody! I know we're like a month into the year, but better late than never. Am I right, ladies and gents? And we're starting off with a banger because today we are reviewing The Habit, which I've been dying to do for like the past two years and nunca se me había hecho until this moment because this year I'm I'm making all my dreams come true this is my year so we've never tried the habit okay. I think it's a burger <clears throat> joint yeah burger yeah. grill and I don't typically eat burgers but I heard the habit had a few healthy options in there so we're gonna try I look cute today <laughs> anyway so we're gonna try them. Well, I'm gonna try out the healthy option. Lupita's and I'm gonna, gonna try, try out unhealthy option the unhealthy for you options. Guys. Yes, for for all of our viewers there, you know, maybe we, we have you some have variety. We have some skinny queens out there. Maybe we have some not so skinny queens out there. We love all of you guys equally. So we're gonna cater to the entire audience. Mm -hmm. Okay. So to begin with our drinks, I ordered uh, an iced tea, but they just gave me the cup and I had to fill it myself, which is fine. I'm not posh enough to need them to do it for me but the IP, it was labeled labeled i hadn't drank out of a fast food restaurant cup in probably a decade it's an experience in itself huh mm -hmm. wow there's water in here by the way it's just ice water but but the experience i could be drinking coca-cola for all you know And my strawberry limeade is delicious. You know how like you could buy those tins of like country crock or country whatever. Country crotch. Yes. Crotch country. Some <laughs> country time. I don't know. I don't. I know. think. I think it's country, country time. time. I think it's country time. Point is, you could taste that that lemonade is a polvo. You could taste that it doesn't come from a real limon and it doesn't come from a real anything. This tastes like maybe I made it. Yeah, it, it tastes like your tia made it. it. Tastes pretty good. First review, down. And the water doesn't taste like cloro. So, so far so good. The habit drinks for me, 10 out of 10. I'm easy to please. Lupita here is the real true food critic. I think this is yours. No, this is yours. What? This oh, is yours. that's mine? Mm -hmm. Okay. For pretend that I didn't eat that yet. Then get this, that's yours. This? Mm -hmm. Okay. Hey, We're, why did yours come in a container and not mine? Because mine is bigger and juicier. It really is big and juicy. Okay. So, for today's order, what did you order, Lupita? I, I ordered the Portobello Swiss burger. It was falling, I had to. And I ordered us some sweet potato fries to really share. Good. And... I ordered uh, a veggie burger. I don't mind the beef and meat, but for for the video, I thought, why not try something new? You know, it might be a little bit more exciting. So I went with this veggie burger, but if this all goes well, we'll come back and try new burgers from here. Okay? Mm-hmm. Okay. Ready? First bite, best bite. Cheers. It tastes like Subway off the top. I haven't gotten really to the to the carne, to the center. Me either. I think I need to have a second bite. I think I need to have a second bite too. <laughs> wow. Why are you laughing? I almost forgot. I have a secret ingredient. What's that? I have brought some salsa de tomate verde from the house. I'm obsessed. She recently ate a whole tub of that salsa verde that had already expired and gone bad. Mm hmm. And She's she scared. was enjoying it so much that my mom, who knew that it was bad, she said was like, nothing. She kept quiet. I, she was like, How was I going to tell you when you were eating it so passionately? Mm -hmm. So she just let her finish it. But, you know, that's what builds up immunity, ladies and gents. So. It's 
take one together for your screen thing. Mm -hmm. I'm dripping. It's just so juicy. I'm gonna give these fries a bad review though. <gasps> you are? Mm -hmm. I don't really eat potato fries, like regular fries, french fries. But these are sweet potato fries and I discovered them at this like breakfast place Lupita took me to. And I became obsessed. So I had to order them today and compare. So actually let's compare right now. They're not gonna tell me they're better than Eden Parks. They're not because they're soggy. Mm -hmm. And also, like, they're just not as flavorful. What okay. were the three things you accomplished in 2023? Okay. <clears throat> oh. Wait, wait, we were supposed uh, to take a bite together. Oh, we're not. That's the spit, I think my biggest accomplishment in 2023 was becoming a cat mom. Oh. I had always wanted a pet, but in 2010, we, I, our dad got us a puppy. Very small, cute, beautiful little puppy named Harry. A tipu. Yeah. A mal tipu, I mean. Like a really tiny, cuddly baby. We had him for what? Like a four day. days? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Something like that. And the reason we had him for four days is because we he pooped lumbrices. Yeah, he had worms. Which now, as an adult woman, I know that that's not a big deal. And, it, and pretty much all baby puppies and cats and everybody has lumbrices including mm -hmm. monica but we thought it, he was desaciado. yeah yeah to me i was like oh my god he's gonna die and if i love him this much four days into having him how am i gonna love him in 15 years when he is old and dies of old age i had already dark thoughts the second <laughs> he stepped into our door I was already, I already had like anxiety over him dying. I had already Googled how long do Maltipus live. It was like 14 years. I was prepared for his, I was calling the funeral company. Like I couldn't even sleep anymore. So when my dad said he has gusanos in his caca, I said, Llévatelo. We don't want to be, we don't want to, <laughs> we don't want to fall even more in love to lose him later. Yeah. So we sent him away. My biggest fear is people people getting old and dying yeah so yeah or dying young <laughs> just dying in general no getting old when i was in seventh grade i went through a depressive state that nobody knew about because i would see the commercials have you seen the commercial where like this viejita is getting combed in the shower by her older daughter you haven't seen okay so there's a commercial where this like mom is like showering her baby and then the baby grows up and then the baby showers the, the mom who is now old in the in the tina and i would watch those commercials and my heart would break because i could not picture my mom with a wrinkle or a cana i could not i was so terrified of my mom getting old and i could not sleep at night and i would go to school and cry in the bathroom but nobody knew about this because i'm a strong independent woman well that's partially what my breakage in 11th grade was about too <laughs> so we've both been there but anyway after the trauma of baby harry i thought i'm never gonna be a pet mom again never again not even a real Excuse mom me. Just forget motherhood. I don't want anything to do I'm with it. I'm still there. I'm not cut out. I'm still in that mental state. I'm not cut out for it. So getting over that hurdle of like the mental block of, of like loving a pet. Beautiful, 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 happy life. And, and I didn't have a choice. I, I had to decide, okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to grow up right now. And then I did. So I'm proud of myself. Told you we grew up. Mm -hmm. Whoa. She did. <laughs> I refuse to love Sabi. <laughs> so, there you go. So, yeah, to me, I feel like that was my biggest accomplishment. Like, it was emotional growth that I wasn't expecting to have mm -hmm. at that point in time. My biggest accomplishment was making friends in my classes. For the first time in my college experience, I actually talked to people in my classes. And they're going to watch this and they're going to be like, we're friends. Okay, maybe not like you know but we would talk in class and i never ever even sat next to someone in class no one ever sat next to me before that so my biggest accomplishment was in my social life even though it, it's not a big difference now because school's over and they're gone they're out of my life it was fun while it lasted and it made me feel good inside for that semester so that was my biggest accomplishment and what's one goal for 2020 Go on one, one at least one date. 
Mm, I like your goal. Mm -hmm. Does it count as a date? If he says hang out, that's not a date. Hang out is not a date. Travis Kelsey, I told you they set the bar high. You and went on a date. Well, I to me, you went on a date to have breakfast with some guy. Mm -hmm. You can cut this out if you want. But mm -hmm. why doesn't that count as one? It was the closest thing to a date, but it wasn't like we knew each other and we liked each other. So <clears throat> that's why I don't count it. Did he pay? No, I did. For both of you? Then it wasn't a date. You, you were being used. <laughs> that's what it was. No, he seemed like a like a really nice guy, actually, and he was going to, mm -hmm. but the girl took my card, so I paid, and then he said that he was he owed me, so we were gonna go on a second date, and he was gonna pay, and then that just never happened because boys are just too busy. Fickle. You don't even know what that means, huh? No. They're always like. You're such a great girl. I don't know how you're single. Like, you're so beautiful. You're so funny. You're so this and this and that. I just don't have time for you. They're always so busy. But that was my only my only near near date experience mm -hmm. ever. Okay, nice goal for 2024. Mm -hmm. I like it. So, that'll be my first official date. Yours? Goal? Mm -hmm. I want to take three trips. One by train, one by plane, and one by car. But the plane one... I want it to be outside of the country and if possible not to Mexico because that's too easy. Yeah, that's good. That's good. I will count it if it's to Mexico, but to, to a different part that I've never been to. Like Cancun. Or Mexico City, which I've always wanted to go to. I, know, I remember that my 2023 goal was to get 10,000 subscribers. Well, at least I was 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, one fifth of the way there. Mm -hmm. So I'll take what I can get. I'm not setting a subscriber goal for 2024 because I'm going nowhere with my YouTube career. She had a job interview today and it's a job where they're gonna appreciate her in a way that you guys don't. <laughs> so That's true. so mean. No, I'm gonna cut this out, I feel so bad. <laughs> they're gonna unsubscribe, I'm gonna have zero subscribers tomorrow. Guys, I was just kidding, I was just kidding. It's it was true, it's true, but you guys, I will never, I will never leave you guys. You guys have my heart. <laughs> Actually, you guys, I want this to be the best year for my YouTube channel. I graduated college. Congratulate me in the comment section below. Woo! So now, hopefully, I'm gonna have time to edit and make videos. The only thing that might hold me back is the <laughs> I need ideas. And if I pop off this year, finally, then you guys will have me permanently. Um. So now we finished our food. You want to give a final review? Should I start or you start? Me, because then I'm gonna be influenced by your. Okay, go. Mm -hmm. So to begin, the water exceptional. <laughs> ten out of ten for the water. The fries not as good as the ones I had tasted at the at other the breakfast place. joint because these are like soggy and the other ones were like crispy and crunchy but like i said i'm easily pleased like better these than nothing so i'm gonna give them a 7 out of 10. i think that's a reasonable rating and as for my burger it did not taste like soya which i was afraid it was going to taste like it gave me hash brown patty energy it wasn't too crunchy maybe the edges of it a little bit i wish it would have had more crunch to it it didn't taste like meat at all at all but it didn't have a bad taste to it. So I'm gonna rate the burger an eight out of 10 because I hadn't had a burger in a while since my Chick-fil-A review video. So I enjoyed my dinner today. If it would've tasted like carne, it would've been a nine out of 10 or a 10 out of 10. Okay, so let me start with my drink. I already reviewed this. I give this five out of five burgers. This, three out of 10. This so sweet like potato fries. One. 0.5 burgers out of five. I was very dissatisfied with them. You could get frozen ones from Ralph's that taste better than that. And I have some in my fridge if you want them. So, sure. habit, step it up. The burger, objectively speaking, I would probably say an eight out of 10. I've definitely had better burgers, but, but amongst the, the traditional fast food chains, burger yeah, joint. it's pretty high up there. It's like probably in and out and then the habit. So, Yes. That's pretty good. That's really good for for a review from Lupita. The habit. Well done. Sponsor us. Just get the fries together. Just yeah, <laughs> just get it together then, with the fries. Yeah, and then add I'll be happy. more add more crunch to them. 
more flavor. Yeah. But other overall, than that, pretty good. pretty good. Overall rating, we'll give it an 8 out of 10, no? Yeah. Yeah, we'll give it an 8 out of 10. The Habit, if you guys have any other burger joints or, or any kind of place. Mm -hmm. I know we did this we, and somebody said La Chucheria. And el we never tepeyac. went. Ah, el tepeyac. But like, el tepeyac, I assume, is like Mexican food. Mm -hmm. And we're Mexican, so we're familiar with that. Maybe give us something more like... Adventurous. Yeah. So, yeah. make those recommendations in the comment section down below. Also, YouTube video ideas down below. Let this be our year, you guys. This is going to be our year. Yo. Maybe it's not our weekend, but it's going to be our year. So... <laughs> Happy New Year, you guys. Let's start this year off right. Positive attitude, vibes, energy. Yeah. So we'll see you guys. Oh, see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.